Well done. Give him a pen. the uh, dog and duck for uh, interviews with uh, man of the match Nabil Sharif Nabil great game well played and uh, did you enjoy it I always enjoy playing football it's what you come on a Saturday to do to play football and it was important to win today because all the cap distractions the main focus is to try and get up there in the league and hopefully get promoted and even we, when we had 10 men we really need, wanted the win and I think they were more playing for the draw than we were even though we had 10 men it was a good performance I think 11 v 11 we would have won comfortably. Let's go back to the beginning. I mean, up for, uh, after Tuesday, I think Tuesday was a great performance. Um, it was a difficult start. They did get behind us, but we still looked uh, dangerous before the uh, the uh, penalty incident. Yeah, I thought we was on top. To be honest, I had really two balls over the top. Apart from that, I thought we was on top, putting crosses in, missing a couple of chances. But I thought we was on top. So even when we went to 10 men, we just really carried on as it was. And we felt we needed to stay two up. Otherwise, we'd just get pinned in. And I thought it was... We were brilliant today. And uh, the penalty, did you see? I mean, it was a penalty. I think he was holding. I think the rule is if you're actually holding, you get sent off. If you trip him up, you don't. I don't think it was a red. I think um, the penalty, fair enough, but he didn't really look like he had the shot under control, did he? No. So I think it, the penalty is fair enough, but I don't think it was a red card, personally. Yeah, OK, but we got back in it, and uh, it was uh, your goal. I think a uh, ball over the top, you chase it, the man down, and uh, tell us a little bit about it. To be honest, I've just, um, I wasn't going to go for it. And then I saw the hesitation and I thought, oh, hold on, I'll just gamble here, see what I get. And luckily I did. And 
got my reward, I guess. And it hit the post. I don't know how you got it in, actually. It hit the post and just literally hit my leg. <laughs> so that that's a lucky one, I guess. <laughs> Take them as they come. I think you needed a bit of luck, didn't you? Yeah, t to be fair, yeah, I needed a bit of luck. But there you go. Scored two, could add four. <laughs> so let's go into the half time. What, what did Pixie say? He just said um, we was on top, really. They had 11 men, they're going to have chances. But he just said, keep doing what we're doing. Even with 10 men, we looked on top and we were creating chances. Me and Taylor were threatening in behind, balls into feet. We, even though we had 10 men, we still looked like we could score. I agree, and you've then had that great chance. Um, and I must admit, at that point, I didn't want to interview you, actually, because I didn't know how you'd be after the game. I got pushed. <laughs> <laughs> um, pff, the, ah, these things happen. It's just how you bounce back, to be honest. I've just kept going, and luckily I got another chance and put it away. So let's go to the penalty. I think they were trying to put you off, but uh, you have a routine. Yeah, I just wait for the keeper to go down and then go whichever side he's di he hasn't dived, so... People can keep looking on YouTube. My where I go always changes, so that's good. Yeah, I'm confident with penalties. I always, I always say, win me penalties, more goals, <laughs> more goals, and that's great. Two and two, and that's good for your confidence, isn't it? Three and two. <laughs> Three and two. <laughs> Don't take goals away. Yeah. Um. In the summer, with my lung injury and everything, I would have took eight for the season so far, but I think. My lungs have held up better, so a bit disappointed with eight. I think I should be on more, but I'll just kick on from here now. <laughs> and as your player sponsor, I apologise for not knowing how many goals you got. No, that's OK. Eight of many. I've got 30 to get, so 22, something like that. <laughs> you promised me 25. OK, so that's less than. <laughs> I'll take the 30. Well done, mate. Go and have a show. Well done, Nabil and John. And again, the final scoreline, AFC Russian Diamonds 2, Sheffield FC 1. With the manager now, Andy Peaks. Peaksy, sort of feel like maybe you stole one today? No, I don't think we stole one. I suppose when you score that late to win it, you take it as a steal. But no, for me, I thought we played well, particularly second half with 10 men. I thought we game plan was spot on. Um, and I thought we had some chances to probably score before we did. Yeah, you saved it for late. You had the game winner in the 89th minute. Pretty exciting, huh? It's a good time to, it's a good time to go in front, I think, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the last thing you want Diamonds to become known as a draw specialist. And we were in danger of having our fifth draw in a row at home, but uh, we win it after all, 2-1. Yeah, I think under the circumstances with 10 men for such a long period, you probably would take a draw. And they've got some good players. I think the table's probably a little bit false where they are at the moment from what I've seen. Um, so, yeah, I probably would have taken a draw with 10 men. But we did feel, we said at half-time, if we can stop their delivery, um, I thought we'd get some chances, and that's how it panned out, really. Uh, obviously, a key moment in the match very early on in the 14th minute, the uh, penalty on Diamonds on... Uh, Rory Winters, straight red. That seemed a bit harsh to me. What did you think? Oh, I don't know. I don't know the rule, to be honest. It keeps changing all the time. Um, I've spoke to a couple of people who said it was, and it should be a red, so that's, uh, it is what it is, really, isn't it? So uh, Denton uh, good on the penalty kick for a 1-0 lead for Sheffield, but uh, only five minutes later, a great individual effort by Nabil to score a goal. A nice assist, of course, by Sam Brown. And uh, Nabil had the ball go off the post, and then he nudged it in for the equaliser. Yeah, I think it was important because that was a massive whammy because I thought we'd started quite well and I felt we could get at them. To go down to 10 men and be a goal down was a big blow. So it was important we bounced back straight away and knocked them back down. So it was perfect timing. And yeah, he, he worked hard to get there, didn't he? Bust his gut to get in where it hurts and got a bit of luck, come back on the post and he scored. So really pleased with that. And then uh, even though Diamonds are a man down, I thought you definitely had momentum the rest of the first half, even parts of the second half to, to go in the lead. But it stayed at 1-1 for a long time. Yeah, we made some changes pretty much immediately, getting bully on and reshuffling it really because you know, it was important. We didn't want to get overstretched um, and we still felt with the two up, it would give us a bit of this and a bit of that. So that was OK. Um, and then we changed it later on. But yeah, we did create chances. Now, obviously, from my perspective, that was a clear handball, right, on the Sheffield there in about the 87th, 88th minute. Got a bit chippy, though. The goalkeeper... Um Christopher Butt was sort of trying to psych Nabil out, but Nabil, uh, cool as a cucumber, ice in the veins, good on the penalty kick. Yeah, great description. You're using loads of words there, Bruce. Um, <laughs> but no, it was good, and it was a definite penalty for me. I could see it was a handball. Um, again, I don't know what the rule is. I don't think you get sent off for that. So we got that one right again. Um, yeah, and there was a few of them getting in his head, weren't there, Nabil? But like you said, he's Mr. Cool, and he, so he slips it away. Great finish. I hate to be negative, but then Nabil likewise received a yellow card, I believe. Was that for taunting or something, or just to let the goalkeeper, you know, I made the kick good after all? 
I honestly don't know what he got booked for. I don't think he took his shirt off. I celebrated. I, I, I don't know. I'd like to know what it was for, to be honest, Bruce. At any rate, we can put this one to bed. A good 2-1 victory for Diamonds. Uh, a quick turnaround. Uh, will the team have time to practice, or you just go straight into Tuesday night at Belper Town? No, we won't practice. Um, they've had a cool down today. Um, they'll have a chill out tomorrow day, and we'll be ready for Tuesday night. But that was a massive three points for us because we've got a run of league games. Um, and I thought, well, what happened today? Various things. I thought they were excellent across the team. I thought Bunt's come on and done a good job. Lewis Wilson was a good introduction. So I think we got a lot of things right today. Um, we'll take the three points. It's important we build on them now. But I thought I thought a lot of them were really good today. You bring up uh, Lewis Wilson. Has he played before with Nabil? Because they seem to uh, form a nice pair up front there at, uh, near the end of the game. Yeah, they know each other. I'm sure they're both, you know, they're both at the club before. Um, Lewis has played for me before at Spencer, and I've monitored him. I've spoke to him a few times over the years. It'd be a good addition. He can play in a var various different positions. Um, so it was important we got someone in. It was nice to get some of them back on the pitch as well that have been missing a little while. So all of a sudden the squad looks quite a little bit stronger. Ash though, Ash Nini had to come out in the first half. How's he doing? Yeah, he's tweaked his knees. He's got a little problem with his knee, um, and he felt it again. So again, we had to get him off. So just to add to the complications, but again we reshuffled it. Again, Carl sure. went in there and did a steady job, which he always does. Um, we managed to get Brad back in midfield, and yeah, it, it worked. I think I think it worked all right. You certainly had a strong bench today too. He brought in two of the lads in the first half. <laughs> yeah, I think we had a strong bench, and then you still look at it, and obviously Jack Ashton and Jack Newman, who we know plenty about, they didn't have to come on today. So yeah, that's boding well for the future. All right, well, very good, Andy. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Cheers, Bruce. Thank you.